I went viral for doing loyalty tests. It's where I, I DM people's boyfriends um, and see if they're loyal or not. It's like a big thing. How many dudes are you like catching? So like, out of 10 loyalty tests, like nine and a half are failing. Is Hannah Montana. Swear to God. I remember I like saw her jumping on this bed one day and I was like, yep, I'm going to do that. But like once I like went blonde and the blonde like stuck for me, I was like, is this a full circle moment? <laughs> like, I feel like Hannah Montana is like living through me. I got a flex with my bros. I got a stack of this gold. I tell you I'm on a roll. About to get all this dough. Me and no fuck niggas know. I swear to God we the ghost. This ain't the story they told. Man, if you know, then you know. I never had to tell my dogs that we on roof for breaks. They pay for getters. They want money more than they want. Do you like Jersey more than New York? Why would you ask me that? I mean... Yeah, I mean, cause like I'm from upstate New York, and it's just like farmland. There's like nothing really going on up there. So at least like here, I mean, I know there's parts of Jersey like that, but like where I am, like North Jersey, it's like by the city. There's always things going on. So I would say I, I like Jersey more. I that's what I always tell people. I love Jersey way more than New York, but I still yeah. love I still love New York. Yeah, I think I like the idea of removing myself from new york like i like yeah. looking at it sometimes like i would have like a weekend house there but it's like i like that in jersey you can go to like the city you can go to the beach you can go for a hike like there's just like everything everything is in jersey so i, I love that so so talk about your name law how did you how did you come up with that and then i also and then i'm gonna and then a 1b question off of that okay how did you get law and music for your social handle so you know what's crazy it. we're gonna start with the b part so my okay. name is lawand so my Instagram handle is actually Lawand Music. So when I first started making music, I was doing music under my actual name. So that was like the Instagram handle, like me and my team came up with Lawand Music. Um, and I grew up in like a very structured environment. My mom is a minister and both my parents were in the military. So just very like rules, structure, discipline, which I love. I think it made me like very disciplined today. But as far as like creatively, I felt like a lot of the beliefs that I had as like a child were like limiting the art that I could make or the songs I could write or what I could say or what I could wear in a video. Like all of that was like on my mind. So I kind of wanted like a, I guess like alter ego, like wanted to like push out there. Um, and then, yeah, like me and my team were just like thinking and then like it was just like, what about law? And I was like, dude, like I thought that it's like sick. And I got to keep my Instagram handle, which is just law and music because it's so funny. Everyone used to think that that's what my handle was. When my name was just Lawand, they'd be like, oh, law and music. And I'd be like, no. But now I'm like, actually, guys, you win. Now <laughs> yeah. it really is law and music. Um, but yeah, law actually stands for ladies always win. So that's okay. like, yeah, I love that part. Why do ladies always win? I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's just like a, a thing that happens. I can't tell you like why the sky is blue, but it is. <laughs> I love that. I love it. So talk about your podcast. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's the name of the podcast, right? The Ladies, ladies Always, always win. win Podcast. So, yes. So <laughs> So obviously I was, I was deep diving your TikTok. First okay. of all, I actually really like your TikTok. I Thank like the you. content. It actually, it doesn't look like you're an artist. It actually, mm -hmm. You actually look like a TikToker yeah. a little bit. So talk about the podcast, like what made you want to start it and mm -hmm. kind of where it's evolved. Uh, I mean, so because of like the whole TikTok platform, I, I went viral for doing loyalty tests, which if you were on my page, you saw that. Um, which is where I, I DM people's boyfriends. Um, and see if they're loyal or not. It's like a big thing. That's wild. So, yeah, I mean, like, I have, like, a, like over 100 million views doing that. Like, I got very popular doing it. Um, and within that, a lot of girls, like, will ask me for advice. Or, like, my DMs are just flooded with girls, like, asking me stuff. Um, and I felt like the podcast was just, like, a cool way to kind of, like, spin off the loyalty test and, like, put it in, like, a different platform and have it be, like, super helpful and insightful, but also, like, push, like, the same message and the same brand as, like, ladies always win. Because, like, that's kind of the content of my music because when all these girls were like messaging me um and like asked me for advice like that's where like, my first ep vent came from i just turned all of the dms from the loyalty just into songs um and like i was always doing music before that so i just wanted to like bring everything together some way um so i was doing that and then yeah like the podcast again it's just like another way to like another vehicle i would say to just get the message out there because uh, there's a lot of people who might not listen to my style of music but they listen to podcasts and so now it's like, cool, like now I can get like, you know, like the messaging to you and maybe like your daughter who might listen to my music. Like, it's just like a way to expand the brand. Love that. Are you good at taking your own advice? No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's so fun. I always say that when I'm like on my podcast or like on like TikTok. I'm like, guys, don't watch me. Just listen to me. <laughs> I'm like the coach. The coach don't play, but the coach know what's going on. And I was like, that's me. So I'm not on the, I'm not on the field like you, but. I could tell you, you know, what's going on. I saw, I saw a meme about that the other day where this, the, it's, like the, it's like the friend who gives great relationship advice and but can't single. find a relationship. Yeah. And the, the meme was like, 
the coach don't make the play. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's literally me. Sometimes it's easier to give advice than take it, though. Well, yeah, it's I mean, to give someone a different perspective on life or a relationship mm-hmm. rather than be like, oh, I'm going to do that in my life. Yeah, because I think it's like it's all about, like you said, like perspective. And I think when you're in a situation, it almost kind of puts like blinders on you that if it was somebody else, you would clearly be able to identify the problem. But when you're in it, it just makes things blurry that like someone from the outside can be like, oh, this is clearly that. But it's like when you're in it, you're like, oh, well, maybe and it's like, no, you know. No, for sure. So what do you like doing more? Making music or the podcast? Making music. I, I, hands down. H- hands down. I'm always going to be like, I, I, I always consider myself an artist. That's what I do. I, like I, I have a podcast and I make TikToks, but it doesn't like I'm still a musical artist. Like that's been my thing. Um, You know, it's just like the way that the Internet works. I feel like being like a, a multifaceted kind of like an artist when you have like different things to offer and the way that the internet works when you're doing all these things it's kind of like whatever catches first so even though i'm this artist and i you know i create content and i play piano and i dance and i write and i want to talk on my podcast i can do all those things and still like have like my music be like the nucleus the internet is just so like well this went viral first so it's kind of hard to be like oh well do you do this and it's like well no it's one of the things i do yeah. But it's just that's the thing you might have seen first. And then, like, let's say when you come to my Instagram or you go into my Discord, it's like, oh, like, this is, like, the main, like, thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost like I have all these, like, little fishing hooks out. Yeah. That just bring you to the same place, which is my music. It's yeah. my Spotify. It's me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm always going to be talking about. No, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I completely agree with you. Who, who, who taught you that? Or was it this kind of, like, mm-hmm. on your own? You're like, hey, I want to do a podcast. I need to do this TikTok. Mm-hmm if I want to make music, like how did that all kind of come together? Cause I completely agree with you. Like, yeah. I think it, it, it's just like, it's just like the, what Gary says, you know, yeah. like that's how I actually do a found lot of things, Gary yeah, you know, like do a lot of things, that. put a lot of content out, see what mm-hmm. sticks people. It's all, cause it's all about attention, right? If someone Absolutely. loves your podcast, well, they're probably going to check out your music. If someone exactly. loves you on TikTok, well, they might check out your music. If someone exactly. loves your music, they're probably going to check out your TikTok yeah, and, podcast. and everything like, else. Yeah. It's all a way to kind of come to the, the single thing. Like yeah. you said, the nucleus of music. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I would say I I always had a team, you know what I mean? Shout out to Sabi Vinyl. Um, when I started my career, I started with like a whole team, which I feel very grateful for. So it was always like me and all these amazing people like that are in the industry, like brainstorming and just trying to figure it out. But we, again, like everything started with my music. So we just started making dope music. We made projects. We were putting out singles. And I think in the process of like once we made the music and was like, cool, it was almost like, okay, well, how do we get this to people? Like that's like part two of like, well, how do we actually get people to listen to this dope thing that we made? And I feel like in a lot of those conversations, just like over time, over years, we all like one of us was like, yo, you know, like, law, you should do this. Or I'd be like, hey, like, I think I should try this out or me just trying things and everybody else like seeing stuff and be like, hey, like maybe we should it's like a group effort. Um, so like the podcast, I would say I wanted to do a podcast, but I was like, you know, I got a lot going on. And then actually my manager was like, yo, you should do a podcast. And I was like, bet we're on the same page. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's just like as like I continue to make music, I'm always like, how do I get this music to people? Um, and I feel like within that conversation with myself, that's how I end up finding TikTok or podcasts or just like these different places because again like it it always is the music it's just the platforms are the vehicle to get to you no that makes a lot of sense so where does your music inspiration come from um i would say it it comes a lot from my tiktok actually so because of the loyalty test and getting all of these dms from all these girls in different kind of relationships um it gives me a lot of like insight to see what do girls feel like so I'll, i'll go through all these dms and i'll see like commonalities and I'll think, oh, like, you know, like I wrote this on Controller um, that's on my, my EP then. And I before I wrote it, I was like going through my DMs and I realized, wow, I'm getting a lot of DMs from girls feeling like their boyfriends controlled them. And like I was in like a super like toxic controlling relationship. But I was like, I don't I shouldn't write a song about it. Like nobody cares about that. But after like seeing all these girls go through the same thing, I was like, oh, well, like maybe they do. And so I feel like the inspiration, like it comes from my own life. But it's also like it's my story like and like anyone who like watches my content, my supporters, anyone. It's like all of like the stories of us like combined, I think, just like of girls and females. So you don't have like a single person that you're like, hey, Beyonce, Drake Mm -hmm. is like where inspired you to make music. I'm talking more so from like childhood. Like, who did you watch? I I get like where you get your inspiration now. But Mm -hmm. like, what about like what made you be like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to make music. I mean, my parents are like they grew up. Uh, or I grew up, I guess, like listening to like classics. Like they're very musical people. So my mom was like super into like 80s rock, oddly enough. 
So she just would like play that. And my dad was like, you know, like Michael Jackson and like Prince and like all these like really iconic people. So I definitely grew up listening to them. And, you know, my parents, they're not super musical at all. Like they're not like in the entertainment, or whatever. But they always had like a lot of respect for like the Michael Jacksons and the Princes, like the people who have like, you know, just a lot of talent. Um, so I kind of grew up seeing that. And then honestly, for me, it, the answer, the real answer is Hannah Montana. Swear to God. I remember I like saw her jumping on this bed one day and I was like, yep. I'm going to do that. And, like, for a while, I kind of thought I was just basic as fuck for that. Oh, I don't know if I can curse on her. Um, I just thought I was basic. You definitely can. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I thought that I was, like, super basic. Like, I, everyone wants to be a pop star until I, as I got older and I realized some people are actually really afraid of this. Like, some people do not want to go on stage. Some people hate this. Um, and I kind of realized, like, oh, like, okay, like, this is just something I was drawn towards. But it was Hannah Montana. Is that where the blonde hair come, you know, comes from? You it know, it's has not. It, now now it's it makes not. sense. It's not. But like once I like went blonde and the blonde like stuck for me, I was like, is this a full circle moment? <laughs> like, I feel like Hannah Montana's like living through me. So, you know, I, I think it fits. I, I love that. I have to circle back to the loyalty test. Yeah. What's the hit rate? What do you mean? As far as like, like, like the failure like, rate? Like how, like how, how many dudes are you like catching? Like, mm, oh, like, like how like many times like do I fall, do? Like that are like falling for it. Like of all you've done. Oh man. Is it 50%? Is it ninety percent? It's like ninety eight. Wow. <laughs> wow. City <laughs> like, boys are up. Yeah, yeah. It's like out of ten loyalty tests, like nine and a half are failing. That's <laughs> like tough. it's That's tough. Yeah, it's not it's not the greatest, you know, but it's I, I always like say I'm like I don't like I feel like people think I like hate men or like I'm like, you know, I'm like, no. It's just that like I don't I don't know. I just feel like it's it's not necessarily like every guy is going to cheat. Like, it doesn't mean, like, all men are bad or all men are cheaters just because, like, these several thousand that I've contacted cheated. <laughs> that doesn't mean all men are bad. It just means that these ones that I talked to, they're cheaters. Like, I don't Got like it. to put that on, like, any other guys. Got it. No, that makes a lot of sense. So as, as we wrap up, mm -hmm. give us three songs that most represent you that you've made. Like, mm -hmm. your three songs, you're like, hey, I would hang my hat on these three that are my favorite that they're represent me the out. most. Oh, oh my God. See, that's my issue. Is like whenever you gotta I make, drop them then. I know. Whenever I make new music, I'm like, no, the new music is it. But if songs that are out, I would say Because of You, which shout out to the music video. I built a whole piano, put it in the ocean. It was a vibe. It was a moment. Check it out. Because of You, um, I would say my newest song, Switch It Up, I think is like a really good testament to just like the vibe, the everything. I really like just like my performance on that. And another one that's out, um, why me? Why me? Yeah, I think I think my favorite that I'd listened to, I think it was over you. Over, over it. you. I was it, gonna say that over was it. that was mine. Yeah, that, was, that mine. was my first song, like as law. It like went viral on TikTok. It was crazy. So over it's like I'm actually trying to make like an over it part two from like for vent two. Like I don't know because I'm like it's such a special song to me. But you should. Yeah. Should. See, I, I'll I, check I, it out. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you gon' go, then go, don't tell me you won't. I want them diamonds on my neck to make me look like I'm cold. That ain't for you and all these hoes, that's just for me and my bros. I gotta fight for my balls, I gotta stack out this gold. I tell you I'm on a roll, about to get all this dope.